Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the City of Adelaide. I'd first like to acknowledge that we're meeting on the traditional country, the Ghana people of the Adelaide Plains, and we pay respect to elders past and present. We recognise and respect their cultural heritage, beliefs and relationship with the land, and we further acknowledge they are of continuing importance to the Ghana people living today. Um, Minister uh, Michelle Lensink, MLC, uh, welcome. We have many dignitaries which Kath pre-acknowledged, so I may not go through the list again, but everyone here, of course, is extremely important because we're speaking about an extremely important topic. And when I was coming in this morning, I thought to myself, in so many ways, where we live streak, strikes to the very heart of our self-identity, doesn't it? It's uh, one of the first questions that people ask each other when you, when you see someone. Where do you live? And it's an interesting one. It's a cultural phenomena. But just imagine then not being able to answer that question or having been able to answer that question in the past and not being able to answer that question now. I mean, that is completely paradigm shifting for anyone who's affected in that position. So where we live in so many ways strikes to the heart of our self-identity. So when we talk about the importance and the gravitas of what you're speaking about today at this conference, um, I must say I don't think there's anything more important that we could be speaking about in 2018 than what we are speaking about today at this conference. So I thank you to the DDF, Kath, to you for your leadership, David Pearson, thank you very much. Um, this is, and thank you for everyone, because I believe you've got about 290 people here. David was telling me that he was, uh, the convention centre were kind of batting them away because so many people wanted to come along. So congratulations, everyone. Um, thank you for giving up your time and your energy and your talent towards contributing to this conversation today, because indeed it is a very important one. Um, City Council is uh, very vested. Um, and very passionate about helping everyone here uh, in this sector find solutions. Um, we are a very willing, we are a very proactive partner. Uh, we're a partner with the DDF. We have uh, uh, contributed funds to the Don Dunstan Foundation and we've actually contributed a staff member to the Don Dunstan Foundation through the Zero Homelessness Project. And Myself and my fellow elected members are all completely united in terms of what role can we play with our administration, led by Sean McNamara, our associate director, what role can we play together to assist and enable better outcomes in this space? It's critically important. And so much of it, as you know, has got to do with forging constructive and productive working relationships. And that's where City Council in many ways comes in not only through its partnership with DDF, but its partnership with many others. And that is a partnership in terms of funding and resources. It's a partnership in terms of bringing people to the table to contribute to the conversation. It's a partnership in terms of opening doors and bringing groups together to find solutions. So in so many ways, that characterises the theme of what you're all speaking about today. The Strategic Advisory Group um, which has recently been formed, um, is something which I'm co-chairing with Minister Michelle Lensink. And that's the strategic advisory group of the Adelaide Zero project. We've had our first meeting and it was a great productive start. Thank you very much, Minister. And uh, we will have many more. And an output of that is that the... I'm pleased to announce also today that as a part of the Adelaide Zero project, that the City of Adelaide will also lead a business alliance to end homelessness. Because, as you know, um, a problem shared is a problem solved. And for us to bring the business community, whether that's the small shop, that's the traders, the shop owners, the building owners, all of the groups of the business community around the city of Adelaide, and I must say in the last six months I've had quite a number of them reach out to me and say, what can we do to assist this endeavour? So we're going to formalise that. We're going to formalise that through this partnership with the DDF. And I'll soon be calling out and reaching out to many people in the commercial sector across the City of Adelaide to join me and my fellow councillors at the table to bring them to the table to help us find solutions. Um, homelessness affects everyone, no more so, of course, than those are who are homeless. But indirectly, it affects many of us. So we all want to work towards the same common result of reducing homelessness in the City of Adelaide and working towards the zero homelessness goal by 2020 with the DDF. So we're gonna bring the commercial sector of the City of Adelaide to the table to help us find solutions uh, towards 
uh, reducing those numbers, which is critically important. So the next step is that the we're also going to be hosting a forum with our many precinct groups. Now, the City of Adelaide has a number of precinct groups throughout the city. They're community-led groups which have been in place for some years. And we're also going to bring the leaders of each of our precinct groups to the table very shortly and have a discussion about what role the precinct groups and the precinct group leaders can also play in reducing homelessness. Now, Council's role is also... Uh, in many ways so multifaceted because we help in many ways but our community grants program is another program which we've had for some years and often at sh short notice we'll have social entrepreneurs come to us with an extremely good idea which will be helping in the social space and often in the homelessness space so we are committed to that that is a grant program which we have and we've had now for a number of years, but we're going to accelerate that over the next financial year. So we welcome entrepreneurs also to help us kind of come up with social programs that do good. And as you'd probably know, that social entrepreneurship is one of the fastest growing endeavours around the world today. City of Adelaide currently funds many initiatives throughout the city through our community partnerships programs, including funding for the Hutt Street Centre, Catherine House, St John's Youth Service, Uniting Communities, Uni Unity Housing, Adelaide Day Centre, Brian Burdekin Clinic, Shelter SA, Baptist Care, Aboriginal Sobriety Group, and of course the Don Dunstan Foundation. The City of Adelaide delivers the Homeless and Vulner Vulnerable People Project with part funding from the South Australian Housing Authority, of which we're very appreciative. Our participation and inclusion team work tirelessly to ensure that social services in the city that provide support to people experiencing homelessness know the whereabouts of rough sleepers and are connected to them if the people desire that support. So in closing, I think we can share some pride here because I think Adelaide and South Australia do stand out as a capital city, as a state, due to the way to which we work together to respond to this need. And I think how we collaborate, how you are collaborating today in initiatives such as this fifth conference, uh, are great reflections on the strength of the community in the City of Adelaide in terms of addressing this need. And as the Adelaide Zero Project builds momentum, I certainly look forward to working with each of you here and learning from today in terms of what ideas, what concepts and what programs come about to help the DDF achieve their goal by 2020, which is a critically important goal. Everyone, welcome to the City of Adelaide. It's a great honour to be here today. Enjoy. Thank you.